What's up, guys? Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. Hawk is also here. I don't know. There he is. He's also here. So if you hear anything in the side, he's attempting to TikTok. When he's done with that and I'm done with this video, we'll throw his TikTok down there in the description below as well as mine. So check him out. Okay, so I see a lot on the market regarding pit vipers. These are my absolute freedoms. These are my babies. They're the original style. I actually like these better than the 2000s and the Americas. I, I really like these shades because they are polarized. I've seen a lot of people posting about this right here. And if you can, let me zoom in here. As you can see, the website is Pip Viper Glasses Online, which let me tell you right now, ladies and gents, they show that they're $124 full price and they're marked down to 50 bucks. Well, if you're buying from anything other than pipvipersunglasses.com, they're fakes. There's a lot of these knockoff pit vipers on the market, especially on eBay as well. So I decided to buy these for 50 bucks and compare them side by side with the real pit viper absolute freedoms. So, so this should be your first indicator that these are fake, okay? They came in this bag, just showed up today. I ordered it like uh, two months ago, finally showed up. And as you can see, it came from China. So let's open this up and let's see how bad they look compared to the real deal. So their bubble wrap, let me just point this out. It's already popped. Pit Viper would have gave you, they don't give you bubble wrap, but if they did, you'd been able to pop it. This is the case it comes in. Giant polarized on the front. They attempt to put the Pit Viper and all that stuff on there. And it shows the UV protection, adjustment points, original design year, and possibilities. And then on the on this side, it shows your turbo and all that. So they, they really tried to copy Pit Viper's box, but uh, this is pathetic. And in no way, shape, or form is it anywhere near what these ship in. Okay, so if you guys have ordered the real deal Pit Vipers, you know they put some sweet packaging in and you actually can fold it up and they got stickers and everything in there. Not just this little thing stuffed in a black bag. So here's, here's the outside. Let's open them up. Oh my God, look at these things. Okay, so here's the bag it comes, what is in this? There's the little bag it comes in. There's no Pit Viper. Oh, yes, there is. They got Pit Viper on there. You barely can even see it because they put Pit Viper in blue on a blue bag. Genius. So this bag's pretty chimsy and poorly made. On real deal, Pit Vipers, you can see on the inside here, there's actually a, always a little secret code. This one is USA number one. So... If, you're, if your sunglasses don't have that on the inside of the earpieces, they're fake. So, now, getting into the actual Pit Vipers. Now, they're in this little bag here. These are the, the pieces that come on it. My God, are these freaking chimsy. That's a Pit Viper, real. Nothing, right, because they're well made. That's the chimsy one. Also, see on here, this is exactly what I'm talking about. When you zoom this in, the inside of theirs, it has a long number and a bunch of nonsense. So that's what they put inside the fake ones. And I can tell you right now, wow. These things feel like they're gonna break. Oh no, I think I broke them. I actually think I just broke them. Not only are they really Really chimsy. I mean, these things feel like they're gonna snap. The turbo, I mean, that still works. They don't even look like real pit look it. Listen. Okay, so just that al <laughs> that alone, these things don't even look real. Okay, so you can move those in. Now, put these in. Put the. Oh my God. Okay, so these are the fake ones on. It's like purple. The world is purple. <laughs> it's these 
If you actually look side by side, it might be hard to tell in here, but if you look at just how these things are, it's the the form on them is not right. The the actual lenses are way too big and they're they're shaped funny. See, they got more like a, a weird shape there whereas the pit vipers are rounded nice and I don't know, they just they you can tell just by looking at them, they're not real. You can see in the fonts there's subtle differences. The the real deal is it just looks better. This is actually already starting to peel, and I literally just took this out of the package. And you can see the giant gap. And this is just it looks more uniform, more professional. That looks like it's gonna fall off at any minute. Looking at the graffiti on them. Let me get this focused. You can tell the graffiti on the, the real deals, they look a lot better. And then you come over here and it's just really cheaply done. It, I mean, they, these things don't even, I don't know if this is even doing this justice, but these things don't look like pit vipers at all. When you actually look at like all the splatter on the real deal, it's really well done. Then you got these fake ones and I, I don't know that's just they look pathetic you come over to the viper and you see that side that's the fake they once again they tried to copy the the font but you can tell the difference just by looking at them this is darker it looks a lot more professional it looks a lot better this is really light and yeah, I don't know it just does not look as good. Then also looking at them like this, this is the perfect way to look at this. You can see the fakes are on the left, the real ones are on the right. You can see how blue the blue looks and how clear and see-through the fakes look. And let's see if it changes. If we turn them, it definitely doesn't. You can see it again, the real dark blue and then the see-through darkness purple like thing you can i mean i i jesus i wouldn't that was a waste of money i can tell you that right now nothing similar so i was really curious after seeing all the people ask if the the fake trash is worth buying seeing how the pit vipers were out of stock so side by side i'm telling you right now you can tell a huge difference between the cheap and giant ripoff of these fake shades and the real deal pit vipers and then putting them on these are the real ones that's how they look you know the nose piece is really comfortable the ears are comfortable and then you know you get that nice reflective look to them and everything's polarized with these ones and then these you put them on and the nose piece is it pinches your face and it actually sits funky on your face but you can tell it's it's not the same I mean it's close when you actually have it on your face but when you take them off and hold them side by side you can tell the difference I'm gonna tell you right now guys if it was me I would never buy these this was the biggest waste of fifty dollars in my life Uh oh Okay, well, <laughs> I just broke them. <laughs> All right, so I was trying to change the adjustment here and I think I just broke, I think I broke the Chinese ones. So you'll just have to wear them without the frame. But yeah, all I did was pull down on this to adjust the turbos and they're barely in there and they popped right out. But it looks like you can just pop them back in. So is there a real difference between the real deal from pitvipersunglasses.com or the Pit Viper knockoffs from Pit Viper Glasses Online? Yes, the websites look similar, but the product. This is Chimsy, biggest waste of $50 I've ever had in my life. I'm telling you right now, if you wanted to buy knockoffs to get by until you could buy Pit Vipers, I highly suggest that you do not do that because these are uncomfortable 
I've already broke them once, got it back together, and they just, they're shit. End of the day, shit. Get your real pit vipers, stay away from the fakes, and I'm telling you right now, if you see pit vipers on eBay for $49.90, it's the same company, they send it through China, and it takes, mine, like I said, mine took just under two months to get here. I've been waiting to film this video for a while because I really wanted to do the real pit vipers versus the knockoffs so we could do these side by side because I know I had a lot of people ask about them and ask if they were worth it or not or if they were real. The answer is no. They're a knockoff. They're made in China and uh, they're pieces of shit. Okay, so if this video was helpful, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. I strongly urge you not to buy these knockoff pit vipers because they're nowhere near <laughs> the quality of a pit viper sunglass. This sucker, the real deal, it's the lights out, I love these. These things, I wouldn't give it to a person I hated. They're trash. But, if this is your first video with us, I have a couple Pit Viper reviews, including this one, my unboxing, and my one year review of this and the America 2000s. I also will be reviewing the 1993 Pit Vipers as well. Are those 2000s? Well, we're mainly an outdoor team. We got a lot of broadhead tests, turkey pattern tests, waterfowl pattern tests, hunts on all of those. And uh, we're actually gearing up to go back out for a gun season. I'll be filming for Hawk, and hopefully we can put some deer down for you guys on film. But we do do Pit Viper sunglasses and shade reviews as well. So we like to damper with a lot of different things. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell. We upload Monday and Wednesday during season and in the off season, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, as well as all our hunts. They drop as soon as I can get them on. So you never quite know when there's gonna be a hunt unless you hit that notification bell. And I've been known to throw in random videos during the week as well. This is one of them. He's got his TikTok done. We have debunked the Chimsy knockoff pit vipers. They don't even deserve to have the pit viper on there. They're pathetic. So I'm gonna get my chums back on the real deals. Uh, we might do some target practice with those. Maybe we'll film it. Well, this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Keller Outdoors, and I strongly urge you not to buy pit viper glasses online knockoffs. Catch you on the next one.